we're going to be figuring out what's going on at Arsenal because I thought they'd won the league. When we drew at Newcastle, hadn't they won the league then? At least, I don't know, that's how I felt. So, yeah, we're going to try and figure out what's going on there. Uh, mind the gap, by the way, lads. Chelsea, showing that there's at least one team in London with a pair who were able to show up and fight back. But, um, you know, that moment where Arsenal thought they had it at the end, 2-1, that was, that was a joy to behold. It really was. Just seeing the hearts break when the VAR official said, no, no, boys, that's offside. And Arsenal fans trying to reinvent football then and change the rules. But, 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 come on now. Didn't even last a week. Didn't even last one week. We set the pace. We draw with Newcastle. Everybody gets overexcited from an opposition fan perspective. And then you were talking about Arsenal's triumphant march all the way to the title. That didn't last one week. So can we get back to a sense of normality now where everybody can just say, calm down. Liverpool are the team to catch. And I'm not saying we've won the league. I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying is, like I've said all the way through, Arsenal are not going to turn into Manchester City reincarnated overnight. They still have that touch of North Londonness about them. So let's uh, talk about that. Um, and Spurs, well, I don't even know what to say about Spurs. Um, Spurs fans out there, all of our hearts go out to you. Because I, I don't know how you put up with it. I don't know how you look at it, live with it. It was mad. you got to give Chelsea the credit. They did fight back and... They were a good side, like we said. So I'm not sitting here counting my chickens that the league's won. And it's not. Long way to go. But I tell you what, I, am, I haven't I am half feeling a little bit smug after this weekend's results. We've seen Manchester City once again drop more points. Manchester United, well, you know. And then Arsenal come up today and say, Oh, oh, but, but lads, we'll win. Close the gap. we we'll close the gap. Four points, they were saying. Huh. It's almost as if they're full of it. So, yeah. There you go. Enjoy it. Breathe it in. Suck it up. And by the way, what do you think of our thumbnail? Because that is me being a shithouse. No other way to say it. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on it. I thought it was quite good. McBotlers, I was quite proud of that. Do you know how it came about? We were in the Discord group and we were just chatting. And then we started talking about good films. So Superbad came up. We were talking about American Pie. And then I got an idea. I thought, hang on. We could get the McLovin ID card and we could change it. Put our Teddy in to McBotler. Because remember, when we draw one game, that's all we had to listen to from Arsenal fans all around the world. You bottled it. We're coming after you. We're going to get there. How are you getting on? Hmm? Have you learned some fucking humility yet? Probably not. But hey-ho. Let's get stuck into the title race, if we can, for a little while. Because look, I'm not going to say to you we've won the league. It's way too early for that. But I am saying to you, I'm feeling pretty confident right now. I've come to the conclusion, in my mind anyway, that this game being postponed against Everton probably is a good thing for us. Alexis McAllister is going to get a lovely breather now. So he's suspended for the Girona game. He's suspended for the game against Fulham. So that gives Alexis a nice break. Also, some of the boys didn't have to play this weekend. Yes, that game is going to come down the line. But let's be honest, when we started this Champions League journey this year... We didn't know whether we'd be in the top eight or, you know, we, we felt confident we'd be in the top 24. But I guess the fact that if we win against Girona, 18 points nearly guarantees us the top eight. It may do, depending on other fixtures. So then you look at it and you think, all right, OK, so we've avoided the playoff round. And maybe now we squeeze in that Merseyside derby if that is when the Premier League uh, puts that fixture in. And it could well be looking at the schedule. So, yeah, it's pretty good. You know, we've got a game coming up against Girona. You know, you feel confident enough on that one. They were beaten 3-0 by Real Madrid this weekend. Our boys should be rested. Then we have a home game against Fulham. I'm not taking that for granted. Fulham are a good side under Marco Silva. But you'd still feel confident with the way we're playing. And the fact we're early on Tuesday. So we're a 5.45 kickoff. Then we've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday before we play again on Saturday. So we would hope that the boys are rested. There's going to be another opportunity then for our in a slot the following midweek to rotate the team a bit as we go away to Southampton in the League Cup quarter final. And then we've got that trip to Spurs where who knows what to expect that day. I don't know what Spurs will show up. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. Um, Romero could be out. Van de Ven could be out. You know, he was both of them taken off today. Uh, Van de Ven maybe was a bit crampy, but they were rushing him back. And, you know, he scored one goal in that Spurs stadium now, and the crowd's going to get angsty. So we have a chance to 
again, underline our own credentials this year. But as much as I'm going to laugh at Arsenal in this, I do want to talk about Chelsea in a minute because they deserve genuine credit. You know, they've went out there and they've bought a load of players and they spent $1.2 billion and that's a whole other conversation. But fair play to Maresca. You know, that Chelsea team today dug in and got the result when the other team from London couldn't quite do it. Chelsea are gaining. Yeah, look, Chelsea are in a good place. You know, and you look at the Chelsea squad, they're young, plentiful and hungry. But I still think that lack of experience of what a title race comes from will see Chelsea may become a little bit unstuck. But all credit to them. I'm not trying to take away from them. You know, I've tried to say in recent weeks, Arsenal and Chelsea are going to be there or thereabouts with us. Um, and look, if Chelsea can keep it up, give them their credit. But also, if we win the game against Everton, we're still seven points clear of them. We're back to then nine points clear of Arsenal. And we'd be back to 11 points clear of Man City. So, you know, I don't believe for one second that these teams are going to be able to catch us. But, you know, prove us wrong. Uh, Craig, Spurs doing Spurs, who would have thought? Yeah, it's Arsenal doing their best Spurs impression as well, though. You know, so maybe it's a North London thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're onto something here. Uh, that was crazy, though, about Spurs. Like, you go into a two goal lead, two slips from Mark Kukurea, uh, and then bottle it. And by the way, two of the most idiotic penalties you'll ever see given away. Basuma goes to ground stupidly when there was no need to. And then Palmer running away from the penalty area. And they run, I think it was Sar, if I'm correct, ran through the back of him. Two absolutely brain dead penalties to give away. So, madness from Spurs. I think Slot has what it takes to make Liverpool the champions of the league. We need to trust him and give him time. Well, Terence, I'm a little bit smug about Arna Slot because. When we announced that Arne Slot was going to be the new coach, I was very confident that we'd got the right man. And, you know, there were other people, and I'm not saying people in our chat, but there were people who thought that whoever came in after Jurgen was destined to fail. You know, you know the players talking, or former players talking about sacrificial lambs coming in, uh, the shadow of Jurgen. But I've always believed in Arne. Because he turned down the chance to go to Leeds, turned down the chance to go to Spurs, turned down other top jobs. But obviously looked at the Liverpool situation, knew Arna, or excuse me, knew Jurgen was leaving him a good squad and knew what he needed to do. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say I thought we'd be in the position we're in now. I didn't. Absolutely not. Didn't even think we'd be in a title race, to be honest with you. But I knew he was going to be a success. So I'm feeling a little bit smug now, Terence, uh, about it all, but... Also, bald is better. I've said it many times, you know. Bring in the closest thing to Anfield agenda as the manager and look what happens. So one more thing. I've decided no bus parade this year. No bus parade. Doesn't matter if we win one trophy, two trophies, three trophies or four trophies. No bus parade. Hear me out before you ever go with me. Here's what I'm thinking. Forget the bus parade. That's so in the past. What we need is to get a big ass barge straight down the Mersey, sign on the side of it, HMS pissed the league, and the boys on there party and sailing down the Mersey. Comes to a crescendo as they dock up. Big party on the pier. You know, great bands, music, the whole shebang. I've done it. I boxed it off for us all. So there you go. We will ferry down that Mersey. Parading whatever the silverware is on HMS, went and pissed the league. Job done. See what I mean? Easy peasy. Don't have to worry about traffic. Don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Straight down. Bing, bang, bosh. Albert Dock party. Exactly. Tanya. Have a little sail past the uh, Bramley Moor Aquadome on the way past. Little sail past there. Then we rock up. You know, Jamie Webster giving it socks on the guitar. Everybody has a party. You know, job done. Uh, Andrew James said if someone told me that in December we'd be top of the league top of the Champions League beat Real Madrid I would laugh and say you're delusional I know I know and you know adding a little bit more to that we beat Leverkusen and by the way I felt very what's the word I'm looking for vindicated about that Leverkusen game because all of last season when everybody was you know dreaming about that final against Leverkusen in the Europa League I always said we'd have their number I always said we'd beat them. And I know we played them at Anfield, so defo 
more of an advantage, but doesn't surprise me one bit that we beat them. Um, so yeah, we beat them. We've beaten United away. We've drawn with Arsenal. We've beaten Chelsea at home. You know, we, we've beaten City comfortably. Beaten Real Madrid. It's just great right now to be a Liverpool fan. Look, I get people that want to get ahead of themselves, but there's nothing wrong with being confident. It's not a fluke. You know, what we're seeing is good players with a good manager that are well-drilled and have heart and bottle. So, long may it continue.